Hello everybody, this is Matador from FreeTradingVideos.com. I just wanted to show you how to set up your charts in a nice little program called Thinkorswim. Very nice for uh, working with charts and whatnot. So uh, the way that they're sort of defaulted is difficult for me to read, so I changed it to this format. So uh, white up bars, uh, some red outline feature here, uh, red down bars, and uh, also a little black outline feature. But um, you can put moving averages in here, you can put all sorts of study sets, unbelievable numbers of technical indicators, so on and so forth. But again, to get the picture like this, which is a little bit easier to read, um, I have to do is right click anywhere in the chart. So right click, get this menu, hover over chart settings, right? And that is the same way to uh, go over here to chart settings. And this whole menu will pop up. So anyway, right click on the desktop. All right, on the, on the chart itself, go to chart settings and choose the graph type candlestick. So just say candle, click on that. All right, then uh, next, go to chart settings again. Go and click on color bars. All right, that's very helpful. And uh, after you do that, right click again, go to chart settings and hit streaming chart. And you'll get real time data coming across, which is amazing. You could also choose log scale if you wanted to. Uh, that would make the moves from 1 to 10, 10 to 100, 100 to 1,000 all uh, appear to be the same since percentage-wise they are the same. Uh, also, after you've got all that, you can go down to Preferences. This would be the next thing. Let me drag this little box over. And uh, small font size is great. Uh, I choose the classic theme instead of dark. That looks a lot better. And I keep earth tones, so that's very good. You can change the guideline opacity, which is uh, any kind of uh, crosshairs tool or vertical or horizontal line you're using. I just make them nice and dark and red. Very good. So guideline opacity, uh, 1.0 is nice. And uh, you can mess with these as well, but that's the way I like it. So hit OK. And uh, you'll be able to change the time frame then to anything you want. On a chart this small, a three-month daily looks great. On a normal screen, a six-month daily fits beautifully and you can just simply choose those time frames that you like. You can even go intraday, you could look at a five day, five minute chart. So it's all relevant. Uh, you can change symbols very quickly as well just by clicking up in here, um, type in anything. So here's the NASDAQ ETF, things like that. Nice little gap up this morning, interesting. All right, one more thing you can do is you can apply studies to a sample like this. This is really nice. So for instance, what I like to see is uh, just moving averages at the most along with price and volume. Since price and volume are king and queen, uh, that's what I'm going to want to focus on. So, But I can put other studies on here if I like, and I can have the moving averages in there as well. So my default it looks exactly like this, and that's saved under my studies. So I can go in here and apply studies. Right, I can go up and choose anything I want. Here's my base right on my default but I would I had to build that at the very beginning so I went down to M so for money flow and all this so moving averages right in here so I just simply chose one exponential and several simple moving averages clicked on them updated them the way I wanted to uh, for instance if I wanted to add an indicator in here on top of these uh, we could pick anything we could even pick like uh, an ADX or something so let's throw ADX in here uh, apply this guy it drops in you can default that, you can change it, double click on it, you can make the period anything you want. Um, you can change the color, you can make it red or whatnot, even the weight of it. So it's really nice and malleable, hit OK. And uh, I can simply save that study set. And we'll say, we'll call this My Studies plus ADX. Something really simple like that. Then hit OK, hit OK and you'll see him right down there, but he does scrunch up the price and volume, right? So I want to avoid that until I've already torn apart price and volume and understood it completely. Then only then will I come and look at those secondary indicators. And now I can toggle back and forth. I can go back to my studies. I can go back to my studies plus ADX. You can build out as many as you want, or you could simply come over here, go back to your default, and just pick something. So here's money flow. Right, just double click on it. There's correlation, insufficient data. There's correlated to the S&P 500. Very, very close, of course, because it's the NASDAQ. 
and um, they almost are all right on top of each other. Here's money flow itself. So anyway, you can click through these very quickly and uh, get a great idea. If you want to get back to the way you were before, like I said, just go to My Studies. Really, really nice to do that. So very nice program for doing all sorts of charting work and many other things. If you want to know more about that, you can go up to the Help section over here, and they have movies themselves all about how to use each one of these modules. So one more thing about the Crosshairs tool here. Uh, if I right-click on the desktop again, go to Drawing Tools this time, go down to Pointer Guides, and click on Crosshair. And that's how I'm going to get uh, the ability to have a crosshairs like this. You can see that. And as I go up and down on a chart here, you'll see the Y value right here change. And that's very, very helpful because I can very quickly pick and choose resistance and support lines and uh, go forward from there. Well, thanks for joining me. Uh, check out freetradingvideos.com. You can register there, get into the forum. Uh, just ask some of those questions and we'll, we'll hook you up as well as possible. So thank you for joining me and I uh, hope you have a great holidays and I'll talk to you soon. All right, this is Thinkorswim. If you want to set your charts up so that they look like this or actually anything else, but uh, to me this is very nice to the eye. So first thing I would do would be to go to Chart Settings. Left click on that. Go down to Preferences. And a little dialog box will pop open. And everything is sort of just normal. Then I would go over here, click on Theme, and make that classic. Right, everything else uh, can be good. Uh, you can keep that earth tone or change it to wherever you like, but uh, earth is kind of nice. So then hit OK. You can also go to Chart Settings, Graph Type, and just make that candlestick. Very good. And then the next thing I would right click anywhere on the chart itself and uh, go to Chart Settings and uh, make sure that there's a streaming chart is clicked. That way you'll get the up to the second data all day long. All right, color bars needs to be clicked as well. Um, you'll be in good shape. And again, if you click on preferences, you'll get that same dialog box we just saw. And of course, you can change the duration uh, and the time, so that's very good. Uh, everything else is sort of just uh, for you to look at. It's, it's perfect. So patterns, you can find patterns. Studies, you can apply studies. You can create your own. Let's say I want to add any kind of indicator in here. Um, you could just click on it. So again, we had put all these moving averages in, the 13, 20, 50, 100, and 200. Just to give a quick example, I would scroll down to moving average. Simple, just double click on it. It plops in right here. Then double click on that and you can change that to whatever you want. Once that's done, hit OK and it will put that moving average in for you. You can also delete that study and uh, it's easy. So then hit OK. You can also save that study set as whatever you want. I had saved mine as uh, Jonathan so it's always under here. It's kinda cool. Very good. Well, just a quick little dissertation on how to make your charts look like this because these are pretty easy on the eye compared to what's kind of the canned one that they give you. So hopefully that helps.